Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Doing a little rodent cleanup. There's a lot of rats inside that are dead. The big one? Oh, God. A maggot. A maggot buffet. Oh, my God. Welcome to the rat house. Infested with about 300 rats. Pest control tented this place. You have rats all over this place, man. Out of this house, maybe about 200 rats. You see your feet? My God. Oh, they were everywhere. So that's just what it was when you came here, right? Yes. Z Constructions. Uh, we come out to do the whole rehab, the tear down, the, we do the whole demolition, the tree service, uh, replace everything. As far as the house being discussion is horrible. Uh, full of rats, uh, mold, the odor, just years of, of, of dirt, nastiness. Yeah. I mean, it's sad that people live this way, but it, everybody's not a hoarder, but you have some guys, people that are hoarders, and this is how they live, and it's truly sad. You have rats all over this place, man. Uh, the garage full of rats, sink full of rats, dishwasher full of rats, mm -hmm. bedrooms, of course, full of rats. Out of this house, maybe about 200 rats. Oh, a world. Oh, a what? A little torch. Welding torch. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, man. I haven't seen one like this, too. It's looking a lot better over here. Yep. Oh, a lot better. Yep. Oh, all that rat's nice. Huh. Our four-legged furry friends. Yep. I don't blame you. Welcome to the rat house. It's a three-bedroom, two-bathroom house in a suburb of Tampa. Um, infested with about 300 rats. Pest control tented this place. We've got holes and tunnels where the rats travel. And uh, this is a complete gut for us. Um, the homeowner that lived here was here for about 20 years. And uh, we're gonna take this down to the studs, remove the flooring and everything. This wall right here is gonna be removed and we're gonna do an open concept. I'll show you the kitchen. So the kitchen is gonna remain here on this wall, but then we're gonna do an island out here. So this wall will all be gone here, and then it'll really open it up. We'll do something really cool on this main living room wall to make it kind of an accent, um, to make it look really, really nice. We plan on changing these windows out, but there might be an issue with a delay on it because as you can see, they're special circular type windows and they're special order. So that's something that we can't just go and get right off the bat. So we're removing the uh, electrical, the drywall. Um, we're going to inspect the plumbing. But as you can see here, the rats did a major job. And uh, the plumbing's broken. You can see a dead rat right there, its tail, and all the nest that, that they buried. That's a good sized rat, too. Jesus. Yeah. Wow. We got, uh, they're not New York rats, but they're Florida rats. It's they're almost pretty like, you big. Know, like, you know, like Florida crickets. 
that they took and squirreled away in there. And then there's tunnels in the holes. So uh, this is, it's a whole gut, man. This is bad. And then obviously you don't want to breathe in this rat shit because uh, you know you can get the Hanta virus. Anyway, we're going to turn this in from shithole to glorious in four weeks. Shithole to glory hole? Shithole to glory hole in four weeks. We will make this someone's glory hole in four weeks. <laughs> Little oh. no bullets. I don't know. Is it your video? My god. Oh, they were everywhere. So was this when you had like a a, a rat bomb going off or? Yeah, the whole house. Whole house. Now that's just what it was when you came here, right? Yes. yes. So that was before they panicked and tried to get out. Yes. You see? Oh my god. How big that one? Wow. You can hear it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is this is horrible full of rat feces. Yeah, that's the best thing. I mean, we. Look at the wall. VHS tape at the wall. Look at that. Look at all this crap. Never seen nothing like this before. VHS tape at the wall. Look at that. Oh. Now we got this guy over here. You see his little wood cage, his little sign. A fluffy boy right there. One right here. Tail right there. My God. Second bathroom of the house. It's in the hallway here between the two bedrooms. Pest control had to break out the window. So we got a lot of glass and stuff in here. 
This will be completely gutted as well. We'll remove the tub and uh, all the drywall. And this 1970s light is uh, bringing back memories. There's razor blades here. And this sink looks like uh, it hasn't been cleaned since 1970. So then we go to this bedroom over here. And you can see, you know, just a little bit of rats eating that here. There's some holes behind here. And then um, we'll change out these windows. But like, this is just falling apart. It's just falling off here. So uh, again, complete gut, no change in uh, template of the bedroom, just all new everything. So we'll make it look great. Hi guys, it's Mariah here. I'm Spalding Econ's content coordinator. So today we're back at the rat house. Uh, when I pulled up, there was still a smell, it was lingering, but it's went down um, since last week. Uh, so today we're gonna take a look at their progress. Today they're demoing, um, and I did a little walkthrough before and they've definitely made some, some headway. You ready? Yep, so as you can see here, all the walls are, are taken down. It's down to the studs. I'm not wearing a Tyvek suit because I'm not the one in the mess. Um, the technicians are. Uh, but I do have this respirator on to protect me from uh, the smell. So what I'm standing in right now used to be the bathroom. Uh, to my right here used to be a bedroom. And to my left used to be a bedroom as well. And the workers told me they didn't have to worry about um, removing the AC death work because the rats took care of that for them. This used to be the kitchen and now it's completely dirty. So this is what we're talking about when we say that the rats chew through everything. So you can see all the holes right in here, pretty big and there's multiple holes. A lot of insulation coming down, a lot of drywall coming down, just tearing out everything, just gutting everything out. Rats are gone, smell is still in there a little bit. Um, it's getting better, but still a lot of work to go. When you guys tore the drywall down, did you find any rats behind there? Yes, a lot of rats behind the drywall and the ceilings, a lot of rat feces. It's just horrible. <laughs> So finally glad to be out of there. Um, the techs have come a long way and they still have a long way to go. Um, they've got the last of the rats and you know, as you can see, there was there was still one, one critter left. And I can't believe it now, but I know by the time Laura's done with this house, it'll be amazing. Hey guys, we're here at the rat house today. We are eight days into this project and I can't wait to show you the massive amount of progress that we've made in just eight short days days follow me as you can see we've got brand new windows everywhere sliding glass door all new electric because the rats literally ate everything we even had to run all new plumbing because the rats screwed up the plumbing too by stuffing all their nests and stuff in it so we've already ran all the duct work and gotten rid ready for the uh, brand new ac and we're only eight days into this so they're putting in the final uh window there on the uh, spare bathroom, but I am just super impressed with uh, the progress here and how this is going uh, on this three bedroom, two bathroom house. We've got about three weeks left on this project, but uh, you guys have seen the beginning and you're seeing the middle now, and I can't wait to show you the very, very end of it on our big reveal, but uh, this house will be ready in about three weeks and up for sale. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.